there! Some of you may have seen our April Fool's video this morning. If you didn't, you can watch it here. But I should just make this clear. Macs are great for some people. Not everyone wants custom components or needs the extra functionality of Windows, and some people are willing to pay more for minimalist brushed aluminum everything. We, we totally get it. We obviously don't feel that way, but, but hey, whatever pickles your egg, boils your cabbage, tickles your tum-tum. Floats your boat? Huh? What's it? What's that? Uh, th that's the phrase, whatever floats your boat. Floats your boat. No, I've never, no. <clears throat> no. Tesla officially revealed the Model 3 last night. The car will have 215 miles of range, will be able to go from 0 to 60 in 6 seconds, will include Tesla's autopilot hardware, and will have 5 star safety ratings in every category. But the real killer feature is, of course, the price. Elon Musk already announced a while ago that the Model 3 will retail for $35,000 US, and that's before tax incentives, which could bring the price as low as $27,500. But some of those incentives might expire by the time the Model 3 actually actually launches for real in Q4 2017, unless Tesla manages to get an extension. If you want to take the risk, you can join the over 115,000 people who put down a $1,000 deposit before they had even seen the car. At least you've seen it now, so that's a plus. Intel launched today the latest generation of their Xeon E5 line, the Xeon E5 V4, also known as Broadwell EP. The new chips use Intel's 14 nanometer manufacturing process, have a max of 22 cores and 48 threads, and are compatible with the LGA 2011-3 socket, so E5 V3 owners could upgrade if you wanted to. Check the news sources in our forum post in the description for the full specs and features for those. Today, Intel also launched four new NVMe SSDs today, two of which feature the company's 32 two-layer 3D NAND flash, which features a more densely packed design than Samsung's 3D NAND. Ha! Eat it, Samsung! Your flash is sparse! Comparatively. And yes, I had to look up the antonym for dense. And AMD launched another dual VG GPU today, the FirePro S9300 X2. This is no gaming card, though. It's meant primarily for high-performance computing systems for professional industry use, and will retail for 6,000 bucks US. AMD claims it's the world's fastest single-precision GPU accelerator with up to 13.9 teraflops of floating point performance, and also the first one equipped with high bandwidth memory. There's no fan on it, so you'd think, whoa, a passively cool dual GPU card? But then you remember, it's probably going in a server case with, like, a bunch of high RPM fans, so... Less impressive. It's time for... Carbon Nanochip Quick Bits! You are correct, Axel! Thanks for your submission. The rest of you, want to see yourself on Netlinked? Send us a video. At Microsoft's Build Conference, Xbox head Phil Spencer was asked what he thought about Sony's PS4.5 and in response said he's not really a fan of the concept of a mid-generation upgrade, so don't get your hopes up for an Xbox 1.5, even though the Xbox could probably use an upgrade more than the PS4. Speaking of the PS4, a former exclusive for that console, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, will be coming to PC in the near future, which is awesome because I want to play it real bad. Story-driven atmospheric game? Yes. One of Google's 85,000 April Fool's jokes went awry. They launched a joke Gmail feature that added a gif of a minion dropping the mic to your emails, but it also archived the thread so you couldn't see replies. Lots of people lashed out, and one guy apparently got fired because of Google's hijinks. What happened to don't be evil, Google? Was that a joke too? Gah! Former Mozilla CEO Brendan Eich has launched an app called Brave that has an interesting ad block feature. You can either pay to block ads or have the app pay you to keep them. Which would you choose? Leave a comment. Speaking of ad blocking, in response to a recent story suggesting Microsoft Edge would natively block ads, the company has responded saying it would not. The three people who use Edge reacted with a and Windows 10 will soon get the ability to view and reply to Android and Windows phone notifications right from the desktop through the Cortana app. Cool beans. Cool, cool beans. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. All aboard the hype train! Choo-choo! I don't say choo-choo, the train does. What? It is the first day of the month, which means it's time to announce our Fans with Benefits winner from last month. Congratulations to... Drumroll! There's no one in here. 
I'll just say it. Curry Ninja, you've won a pair of Bayer Dynamic DTX 350Ms. Well, not both of these. You've won one of them. You can pick the white or the black one. Check your YouTube inbox for our message with instructions on how to claim your prize. Link will be in the description in case you don't know how to get to your YouTube messages. For the rest of you, it's time to announce the prize for April. And it is Two Zalman Z9 Neo cases, again, one in black and one in white. Jack reviewed it uh, recently and transferred his work PC to that case, so he's using it right now. Uh, not the one you win, that'll be different ones. Anyways, if you want a chance to win either of those cases, all you gotta do is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips and comment on any video from April, and we'll announce the winner on May 1st. So see you then. Yeah! All right, that's it for Nightling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, April Fool's is almost over, but tread carefully. It's a minefield of cheesy jokes out there. Good thing there weren't any in this episode. I have to go.